I think y'all should take advantage of this viral music strategy that costs zero dollars marketing cost and help Kato blow himself up. Check it out. You know, I post all my beats right. on TikTok, on Instagram. And I'm like, yo, who got bars for this? Who wants to sing on this? And based on like what pops there, I'll use that feedback and I'll reach out to the artist. They might've gotten a million views on a duet that they did over my beat. And boom, I just found a new artist to work with. We put out the song. It's already got a built-in audience because it already went viral on TikTok or whatever. And still to this day, like my biggest hits zero dollars discovered that way and we spent zero dollars on marketing now what do you think about this because there's some people with thoughts in the comment section i, I want to know what you think about this first i mean i agree i think that the open verse challenge is probably one of the more genius social media marketing ideas to come up come out i do think it's starting to get um a lot more overrated because so many artists have kind of like taken to it and use it but like when that first shit first hit the scene i was like oh this is genius you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like um because just like he said you're able to build a little marketing funnel off of all these people who already like the song or want to be a part of it in one way or another and you know just with the nature of tiktok if one of their posts does well or goes crazy then that benefits the whole ship you know yep. and like i think i don't know if he started it. I don't know if I want to get Kato that much credit, but I think he really might have been like one of the first like handful of people that really like benefited, benefited from it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, 100 like hit it hard. 100%. This dude is, I don't know all his business or the technicalities, but he's pretty damn independent. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he's used this platform to maximize and create a lot of opportunities. But Kato um, has a great strategy here. Right, number four on as in terms of most duetted artists, but still, people hating. Yeah, they're always gonna hate. People are hating, and I don't even I don't even mean hating like yo, Kato, you're not that dude. You're not great. A lot of people think Kato's awesome. I don't really see no hate comments like that. What I'm seeing is more hating from a standpoint of not respecting the strategy. People hating on the strategy, not the artist. All right, so let me see. Derek Miner said that's doubt, dope. Shout out to Derek Miner, a Brandman Network member. Um, let me see. Emilio Rojas says, hoping for virality is not a marketing strategy. You're my bro, Kato, but this mentality is buns. The algos respond to engagement, not artistry, not creativity, not talent. That's why there is so much BS in the feed because people have... Oh no, people love fuckery. If you're basing your art on what does well on a platform that is geared toward shareable content, then the art suffers, in my opinion. I call lies. Lies, 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 lies. Why do I say that, man? Like, for one, let's start with the art comment, right? Mm. Right? You know my perspective on this. Yeah. The biggest thing is. The algorithms don't care if it's good art or bad art. They care about engagement. Yeah. Right? So it's up to you to put good art out there. Period. Yeah. Right? Now, I assume you put a beat on the platform that had nothing to do with the algorithm yet because you created that. That was all your artistry. Artists got on it. They came from their point of artistry. Right? Combined this artistry. thing is not viral yet. Yeah. He's just saying, I'm going to push the one that people responded to the most. So that actually isn't necessarily saying I'm only creating music derived from how the platforms are responding. Yes, I am using it as a part of my production. Mm -hmm. However, my beat had none of that in mind. The artists themselves who got on it, they didn't have any of that in mind. But then as they got on the platform, people really loved it. And then again, even if it was trash, cool, it's trash because it's trash. It's not viral because it's no, it's yeah, it's trash because it's trash, but it's not trash because it's viral. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Something can go good that's viral, something can do, you know, go bad and be viral. Whatever, whatever, because we also know bad songs don't go viral and bad songs that I mean good songs that don't go viral. Mm. That has nothing to do with the argument. But I think so many artists get caught up in and Emilio, I don't know you, you know what I mean? But 
so many artists get caught up in the perspective of art having to be solely them. All right. Even if we want or solely from their perspective, their own creative interests. But I also believe that there's different types of art that people don't that people don't respect. Right. That's the classic traditional purist. Hey, I'm this artist in a room and I come up with these ideas. Mm -hmm. But then you have collaboration. So now it's not just from you. It's coming from other people. And then there's different levels of collaboration. I might be collaborating with the entire community, the platform, the world itself. I might be the producer. I'm not the one pushing the buttons. Right. The the other form of producer. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not pushing the buttons or playing any instruments. I might not even be songwriting, but I'm putting it all together. There's an art to producing or directing a movie, right? The, all of these things are forms of art. There's art in business and understanding how to navigate deals. All these things are art, right? Mm -hmm. So there's only one way that people tend to acknowledge art, but I think even that itself is founded on quicksand. Let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. It always feels more like the frustration is, and I, I could, you know, speaking for these artists, I, I just feel like they haven't all found a way to communicate it yet. But I feel like the frustration is more so with not understanding how to communicate their art through the, the medium more than the medium itself. You know, because- yes. Like that's personally why I hate that argument of like, oh, it's not art because, like you said, it, it it takes away from what, like it takes away from like how talented like some artists like really are in their medium. You know what I'm saying? And so like, it makes me think like, like I have visual art homies, and it will be like my painter homie telling my homie that draws a pencil he's not a real artist because he draws on notebook paper. Yes, 100%. Like, be, like nobody will make that argument in the, the real arts community. It's like, you've chosen your medium in the way that you want to express this thing. I've chosen my medium in the way I want to express this thing. Thanks. It's no different in the social platforms, bro. A person that can make beautiful videos on YouTube but can't make a great TikTok isn't a shitty content creator. He, he or she has just found their medium. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the medium that for whatever reason, they thrive and they figured out how to like express their artistic view a lot better over here. Yes. So when I see these arguments, I wish that the artist would say, hey, I haven't yet figured out how to be creative and artsy over there. Instead of saying like, hey, this is trash and that's not art. Because that's really what you're trying to Just say. Just because it's successful over yeah, there. Yeah, because successful, yeah. Because you're really trying to say like, hey, I don't know how to express my artistic vision over there. Which arguably is more of a you issue than a platform issue. That's, that's, no, that's you know, not yeah. arguable. That is what it is. Yeah. All these things are tools. Yeah. Right? Paper is a tool. At one point in time, paper was TikTok. Yeah, facts. That's that's, that's actually a crazy thing. Bruh. You just fucked me up. Right? I mean, <laughs> it's a new form to express yourself. <laughs> Communication yeah. at scale. That's what happened. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, people spend too much time judging art. And I always say, all right, once you get into the box, you're anti-art anyway. Yeah. All right, like art cannot be put in a box. It's always in motion. It's always right finding new forms of expression itself. And once art begins to be defined in a specific way, then it becomes a science. Mm -hmm. All right, that's the problem I always had with the older rappers, right, wanting to hear a certain style. And it's like, yes, this style was new, creative, and abstract at one point in time. But then as the boxes became more and more defined and then there was a specific formula mm -hmm. to follow, those formulas made it a science. And mm -hmm. I love science, but don't act like they're fucking up the art by doing something that's not that science. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And everything becomes a science over time. That's why we, we follow those formulas. So it's, it's, it's a completely different thing, man. And yeah, I just hate when artists get affected by this in a way that limits themselves.
Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. oh, now I can't do that because I want to be seen as a real artist, right? Or I want to be respected, and that's not the way to go about it. Yeah, bro. But artists don't even realize, man, bro. There be other other artists holding you back, man. They be, they be saying shit like that. Meanwhile, you got a beautiful vision for your TikToks, and you stopping because of somebody was like, nah, real artists ain't on that shit. It's like, man, I've seen some masterpieces on I know I've said that before, bro, but I've seen, like, I've seen some masterpieces on TikTok, bro. Like, some shit where I'm like, bro, I don't know who you are, what you do, or how you got this skill set, but, like, this shit needs to be somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? The fact that you chose TikTok and gave it to me for free, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate bro, that. Thanks. Um, and then the that was that was another point he had, he had made, too, that I kind of wanted to touch on. Like, like, Let me see. Let me read back for you. He said, the algorithms respond to engagement, not artistry, not creativity, not talent. That's why there is so much BS in the feed because people love fuckery. If you're basing your art on what does well on the platform, okay, that right. is geared yeah. toward shareable content, then the art suffers. So what the algorithm responds to is whatever people find interesting. Right? Like the algorithm is a mirror of cultural um not cultural expectations but like where a particular culture is at in terms of like what they find entertaining what they don't find entertaining what they know don't know people don't like to admit that i don't think because then that means i think to them that would say that hey that means the people didn't choose my content or choose Mm. my messaging or choose my art which is typically the case, right? It's much easier to blame it on an invisible entity. I, mean, I guess these people are still invisible, but an invisible entity, ooh, the big scary algorithm, then to say like, hey, my art wasn't communicated properly through this platform, thus right. people don't like it, right? Yep. And so we, I think as marketers, are able to see that because, you know, how many times have we seen like a trend die on TikTok because of how sick of how sick of it the community got, right? Like dan- we talked about dances a couple episodes ago. Dances don't hit as much because the community as a whole is pretty sick of dancing. You know what I'm saying? They want to see other shit. How many times have we seen trends be birthed out of small community jokes on TikTok, right? Like somebody there was a um a trend a couple of weeks ago where like a filter came out and like you're like riding in a boat, you know what I'm saying, across the sea and it's like text on the screen. It's like me on my way to do something like that. I remember watching that trend bubble and it was like a very like joke within like a very small segment of TikTok. And then like somebody made like a funny ass meme and it just like spread out. Right. So it's like the algorithms on most platforms, I think to some degree they start by trying to like influence like what we see. You know, most of the platforms start as a blank slate to the people come, data comes, right? So they start yeah. trying to influence what we want to see. But after a while, the algorithm is typically a reflection of what people on the platform are. Or looking up, looking for, especially with something like TikTok, where everybody's for you page is like a thumbprint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like no two people's for you pages are exactly the same. Yeah. Right. So I would just always look at that as a cop out, is to say like, oh, the algorithms only push trash and garbage. Like, no, the algorithms push what people are showing they like. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you have your one or two posts here or there. You know what I'm saying? Like some sponsor posts, some big celebrity posts. Where like, yeah, hundred percent sure they're doing that. But majority of the times, the people are choosing it because they're saying, hey, I like this thing. I find this thing entertaining. And like what I've seen, at least in the last couple of years of TikTok, is that almost any artistic vision can fit on there now. You know what I'm saying? Like Kato, yeah, yeah. Kato came from a time where like TikTok had very few boxes that you could fit in. You either was the cover guy, you was the dancing guy, girl, right? You was the thirst trap girl. He was the comedy skit guy. Yeah. And like I said, he was one of the first people I saw do like the whole um, open verse thing. But so, look, bro, that's what artists are supposed to do. Yeah. They're supposed that's to That's the crazy the part bear. about yeah. it. Like, you're supposed to be it. artists, these pioneering people, yeah. bra- barrier breakers. <laughs> and then we see a platform and say, that's how it is. Oh my gosh, I can't go over there versus saying, I should go over there and do something different yeah. and make it work. Yeah. Right. But we misjudge things not working and blame it on the platform based instead of looking at ourselves and say, Hey, maybe it's not just that interesting. Mm-hmm. It's just not that interesting rather. Well, right? I haven't figured out how to be interesting there. Cause you got to make people, no, it's not that interesting. <laughs> That's just what it is. It's interesting over here, yeah. but the, the iteration here is not interesting in this context. And yeah. you, we know context matters. Just like these people might like my music. These people might hate it. Right, and you might have to tweak it to make those people hate it, change the BPMs or whatever. 
we we say what they like more importantly is what they feel mm. because we know people will share videos that they're angry about all right do they like to be angry i don't know but we know our emotions drive us mm. you know happy sad mad whatever so they're sharing and engaging with something that makes them feel and i think that should speak to an artist more than anything right what you feel be interesting i remember trevor noah you know who that is come on man hey man look bro. <laughs> hey bro people don't be knowing people it's a lot of people in the world these days right and i was super early at trevor noah i bet you didn't know trevor noah the first year i knew who he was I was, yeah, bro, I, was on, I was on Trevor Noah early too, bro. I ain't trying to make this a, just, you, know, you know, we ain't about to do that. Yeah, I'm, sorry, I'm, just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. So I had to put him on so many people. I know some people don't know him. But look, he said that, I remember he said that he was going on tour with Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle invited him on his tour or his shows or something. And Trevor Noah was surprised. And he was like, yo, man, Dave Chappelle, you're Dave Chappelle. You can have anybody, you know what I mean? Like almost kind of like doubting, like, am I funny enough? Or like, you think I'm funny enough? And Dave Chappelle's response was some sense of, ah, funny, <laughs> whatever. Like, ah, that's normal. And that's kind of like par for the course once you're at this level. Funny, eh, whatever. What I like about you is that you're interesting. Mm. Mm. It's a difference. So you see how this tie back. Yeah, exactly. How many people... <laughs> comedy whatever right or singers they could be talented they could hit every single note but that shit don't make you feel nothing mm. right or that song specifically just didn't do anything for you right it's the full package is how things are put together and it's an art form to understand the platform enough to be able to deliver it in that way so you know i look i know that there's always going to be this argument every single time a new platform uh pops up but you can't define art. Stop trying to put it in the box. Everything's just, just another tool. Everything is another canvas. Allow people to use it. And there's going to be different types of artists. At the very least, there's different type of artists. And you can just leave it at that. Yeah, facts. Facts. Now, with that being said, flipping the script just a little bit, we got to get into 